Hello friends, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how you can implement the can activate function in the auth cards for protecting your routes. And I will show you all of these things in a real world application, which is what you're seeing on my screen. So without delay, come, let's get started. All right, so I am showing you a demo where the application has the admin section and non-admin section. So I have logged in as an admin. So I'm able to navigate to any of these sections, which is showing all of these things if you see, right? However, if I log out, all right. However, as a user, if I'm not allowing you to go to a particular route, for example, this user doesn't have access to go to the admin section. So if I go to request video, which where uh, the admin alone can go, he will be denied access. He cannot go to that route. It will deny the access, but he can go to other. See, he cannot even create a course because they're all for admin section, but he can go to any other place where as a user, he can, he is allowed to go. Even if I go here and try to go to the edit, it pushed it back to the home page. And then it also showed a nice UI saying that access denied, right? So this is what we are going to see and how to implement this in Angular 18. Okay. So I have opened the application. This code is available in the GitHub. So don't worry about the code. Let's focus on the implementation. Under the code, I have a guard folders. Under that, I have something called login guard, meaning at least the user should be logged in. That is the idea. So in Angular 16 and above, there is a different way of implementing the auth cards. So what you have to do is you have to write a can activate function. So we are going to write a constant of some name like can activate card. It's just the name given by me that is of type can activate function, okay, which is equal to it has the route, which is the activated route snapshot and the state route state snapshot. These are the two inbuilt parameters that is sent in the can activate function. And inside that we are going to write some logic, okay, which finally it has to return a true or false. Returning a true or false from this function will tell whether the route can be activated or not. Okay, if you return true, which means validation passed, routes are allowed to activate. False means routes are not allowed to activate. Okay, one more thing. In old way of implementing, you need to implement a constructor and then you need to inject any services in the constructor. Here also you can do the same thing. Okay, so I can also have a constructor. Okay, so in the old way of implementing, you can have a constructor, you can inject any service inside the constructor. But in the new way of doing, you can use something called inject. Okay, you can use inject rxjs and then inform which service you want to inject. I am injecting two services called login service and toaster service. Okay, so these two are equivalent of what you inject in the constructor and this is a new way of doing that's why we inject like this if you try to do this inject of the service in angular 16 and below you will see error if you don't use the can activate function okay now what we are doing is if the user is logged in return true if the user is not logged in just show a message and then return to the login page like it basically triggers the login call and then returns a false Okay, now we have an admin guard. It is of same thing. It's a different name. Again, injecting two things. The here what I'm doing is here I'm doing some extra logic. Now the logged in person, okay, whose user role can be uh, retried from the service, which you can take a look at inside. So basically, it is going to return the user's role, which is in the claims. We are using JWT AD B2C Azure AD B2C. So the token will have the climbs and then if the climb you climb has admin role, we will allow if the client doesn't have admin role, we should show the error message and then navigate to the home page. If they don't have logged in at all, we will ask them to log in and then return a false. Okay. Now the usage for this too is you need to go to the route, which is here and then you have to keep the uh, proper route here. So this is the route path. Okay. So what we are going to do is
I'm going to say in order to go and do a you know you raise a request for the videos you need to at least to be logged in so what I'm going to do is I'm going to say hey I'm going to use can activate inside a route and then say which guard is allowed so whenever this route is activated this will be went and verified if you go inside this at least the user should be logged in okay that is what this route guard is now similarly I'm going to do the same thing here which is at least they have to be logged in and then for the remaining two routes I want the routes to be protected for the admin so let's add all the inputs okay so in order to go to this and this the user has to be an admin okay so let's see how it works so let's go to this local let's clean this up I have already logged in okay so I've logged in already so let's go home let's go and see what I'm if I go to headers just to take the let's go to any of, any of this request see there is a bearer token I'm going to take this token and I'll show you what I meant about the roles if I paste it here you see this I am an admin and an instructor okay so whenever I am an admin and an instructor if I go to this route it allows me if I go to this route it allows me if I go here it is allowing me right but if I log out and log in with a different user I logged in with a different user now if I try to go to view all the request I'm not an admin so how do I know let's take an example so let's take the bear token from here so that we can check what it is so I'm going to take the bear token paste it here you see this this time I do not have any role okay basically if I don't have an admin role I cannot go to admin request see right it is not allowing me to go there now let's say I logged out like you said never logged in if I see few menus went off because they logged off if I try to go here see it is forcing the user to go and log in first okay that is what we implemented if the user is never logged in it will force the user to log in so the art guards are very useful and it will protect your route see after I log in many many things came okay so that is what we are going to do so I hope you enjoyed this and uh, you know how to implement the art guards in Angular 18 this is also part of online course enrollment application full stack video series so if you like this video do subscribe to my channel share this with your friends and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified when we post new videos if you have any questions or suggestions leave them in the comments below happy coding